We get about 60 million gallons a day of wastewater at these facilities, and it's our job to, to treat it and to beneficially reuse it. Clean Water Services produces 10,000 pounds of biosolids per hour. The nutrient-rich biosolids are recycled and then applied to local farms and rangeland in place of conventional, costly fertilizer. So the wastewater comes into the plant, it's put into tanks, solids sink to the bottom or scum floats to the top that is thickened up and fed into digesters. Digesters are important because there's regulations federally and state to remove the pathogens before we can put this out on fields. In the digesters it's heated and mixed. From there we dewater it and that's where you get the biosolids cake. Water is weight. The more weight, the more money it costs to apply these biosolids. So we want to get them as dry as possible. And that happens in the centrifuge process. At that point, Tribeca Transport comes in. They load up here at our facility in the hoppers and then they deliver it. The material is so beneficial for the farmers and it's at a free cost to them. There's about 400 tons sitting behind us right now. And um, in the next couple days, we'll bring a piece of equipment in and start land applying that to stay caught up. After a capital outlay like machinery, fertilizer is one of the largest costs that farmers have, obviously. And this takes a big bite out of that price tag. I do it over about 90% of my property now. I think our soil tests are coming back better. Like my dad and I were talking the other day, and he's like, since they plowed all the, you know, the grass up hundreds of years ago, so we took in every micronutrient out of the ground and never replaced it. I mean, these bile solids have been wonderful. I mean, all our levels are going back up and getting back to where we should be.